Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on showing you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about Euro USD. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders, so the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders. And by the end of the video, by using the combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for this pair. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality free trading education. So without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which is testing a quite strong monthly support and demand area. From here, in fact, all these previous rejections to the upside have been created. So multiple rejections to the upside have been created. And every single time that the market tested this strong historical support zone, the market created at least a minor reaction to the level and rejected it to the upside as support. And at the moment, the market is testing exactly the same zone. So there is the possibility to see yet another rejection to the upside, as already happened in the past, every time that the market was testing this exact same, a same area. So let's keep that in mind and move down on the weekly time frame and continue with our analysis. Well, from a weekly perspective, the situation is quite clear. What we can notice is that in creating this move to the downside, the market has also just printed this M pattern. And in general, after the creation of an M pattern, what you could expect is a potential rejection to the upside for the market to complete the pattern at the neckline. We have seen this pattern many times. And that is how usually the market reacts to such pattern and the logical move that the market usually creates. In fact, we can see how here we had this M pattern, the market went and completed it at the neckline. Again, here we had this M pattern, the market went and completed it at the neckline. And just now we had another of these patterns being created exactly starting from here. So there is a possibility again to see the market create the potential completion of this M pattern and the neckline and from here to see this push higher. So the weekly time frame as well seems quite bullish. So let's drop down on the daily time frame and see what we have from a daily standpoint. Well, here in the daily we can see how the market even though it is still in a bearish trend, in fact, it is creating lower lows and lower highs, it just started creating a deceleration. In fact, starting from here, we can see the creation of this wedge pattern, which simply is a deceleration pattern. In fact, if you have a strong downtrend, essentially, what you like to see is strong legs to the downside and the creation of lower lows and lower highs. If then the market starts creating like minor movements like these ones here, it means that every time the market is dropping lower, new buyers are coming into the market and buying it. So it shows how buyers are starting to show some interest in these prices, showing that they're willing to buy at these prices. And even though clearly bears are still in control, so we are in a bearish market from a daily perspective, this shows at least the start of a potential shift from a bearish trend back to a bullish trend. This is why these kind of patterns are usually referred to as deceleration patterns or better said exhaustion patterns. So wedge formations are usually referred to in the basic a technical analysis as exhaustion patterns. So let's keep that in mind. Now, I also spoke about EURUSD just a few days ago after the market had created this M pattern here. And in fact, I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this push higher. The market did create that move and then respected the neckline of the M pattern as resistance since the neckline is by definition previous support and resistance and remained in that bearish trend. And by the way, I will also link that previous analysis in the description so you can go and check it out for more free education. But for now, we have to see if institutions are already longing 
during the creation of this wedge formation, so during this deceleration pattern. To do that, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders, so what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing, and let's check the data precisely for the euro. Now, what we can see here is actually quite important, because if we look at the data at the of the euro, we are already looking at euro USD because all the currencies on the spot are traded against the USD. And what we can see is that actually institutions have been moving back to the bearish side of the euro. So to the bearish side of euro USD, therefore making it weaker. Going from a positive net positioning of 67.8k net positions down to minus 8.4k net positions. So institutions at the moment are still not longing euro USD. They are still shorting and the trend from a daily perspective is still bearish. So at the moment, nothing is looking bullish yet. The only things that are looking bullish are the monthly and weekly timeframes. But the daily timeframe is still bearish and institutions are still to the bearish side of this market. So everything is still too premature for a potential rejection to the upside away from that monthly support and demand area. So in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, if, first of all, if you still haven't, make sure that you join my free Telegram channel, which you find both on the screen and also linked in the description so you never miss new updates. Now, back to the analysis. So as I was saying, from a daily perspective, in a situation like this, what would I expect? Well, first of all, until the market will remain in a bearish trend, so creating lower lows and lower highs, I do expect more bearish continuation and for the market to potentially even continue further with the creation of this, this, of this deceleration pattern. But then, if the market will manage to break above the daily structure, which in this case, at the moment, is this previous high. If the market will manage to break above this previous high, that would signal the change from a daily bearish market to a daily bullish market. From a technical analysis basic standpoint, that would be the break above the previous high, therefore creating a new higher high, and therefore shifting to the creation of higher highs and higher lows from lower lows and lower highs. So if the market manages to break above this resistance, and after the break on the retest of the previous resistance turn support, this is where I want to see institutions starting to increase their net positions, so starting to buy once again. Only at that point, if this happens, I would expect a potential rejection to the upside because as usual, trading is reactive and not predictive. So the monthly, weekly, and daily timeframes combined with the COT data, those are the best timeframes when it comes to the directional aspect of the market. However, when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for our and lower. Therefore, if we would see a shift from a intraday bearish market to an intraday bullish market paired with institutional longing, at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the upside away from this area. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. From here, in fact, you will have the possibility to gain access to my entire courses. You will also have the possibility to gain access to one-on-one -on -one live private mentoring directly with me, the VIP market breakdowns with the Telegram signals, the COT data software, which is precisely the one that we used in this video, the trading station software, which puts together everything that you need as a trader all in one interface. And if you continue to scroll down the website past the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with email and password that you will create during the sign up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out as soon as possible. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, if you have any suggestions on any topics or pairs that you would like me to cover in the next videos, make sure to drop them in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.